Hey Bulldog Country, Justin Wick here, men's basketball coach. Um, as you can see, working from home is going extremely well. I've got my new assistant coaches here, Jordy Wick, Anya Wick. Uh, they've been helping me here uh, lead this program for the last 50, 50 some days. So I uh, hope you guys are continuing to stay safe, uh, stay healthy. Uh, hopefully we can, can get back to somewhat normal here um, sometime soon in the future. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on uh, Bulldogs basketball. Um, wanted to look back uh, to last season. Had a tremendous, uh, tremendous season, very successful. Uh, 22 wins, which is the most in our program here in the last 23 years. Um, fantastic group of guys to coach. Love coaching them every day. We had six seniors, Cody Tomlinson, uh, Yella Molche, uh, Logan Rorschach, Trevor Antwin, so Alex Ilikane and Brandon Meyer. Uh, those guys have really left their impact on this program. They've been here, you know, some of those guys have been here uh, four years ago, winning four games uh, to now uh, graduating seniors, winning 22 games. So um, a big thanks to them. They've been a great group to coach. They've really left their imprint uh, on this program going forward. It's obviously been a different spring for us. Haven't had a chance to um, have our normal spring workouts with our guys. But our returning guys are, are have been extremely active at home, uh, trying to stay in, stay in shape, trying to get stronger. As we enter finals week this week, a uh, great chance for these guys to finish up the right way in the classroom. Uh, all of our guys, whether it's returners or graduating guys, are, are finishing strong in the classroom. So um, as we look forward to next year, um, we're extremely excited about our returning guys. Uh, you know, Drew Blair was an all-conference player for us. Jack Middleton, Charlie Gores, Mason Steffen. Uh, Ethan Yuso, those guys will definitely uh, grow in, 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 into different roles for us uh, going forward. But it's a chance for them to, to kind of be that, that next group for us um, from a leadership standpoint and from a talent standpoint. We're also very excited about our, about our 2020 recruiting class. Uh, hopefully you've been able to follow uh, some of the press releases uh, of, about, these, of, about these guys. We've signed eight, eight guys in the 2020 class, so we will have eight freshmen next year. Um, We'll start off with Austin Andrews from Eden Prairie High School, uh, 6'6", 6'7", uh, forward. Uh, played for one of the best high school teams in the state. Uh, Charlie Katona, Shakopee High School, a kid that we're extremely excited about uh, being able to come in and play for us right away. Uh, Zach Leah from Chaska High School, again, a bigger um, athletic guard for us that I think can really help us. Uh, two local guys, uh, Peter Sumas from Hermantown High School, and Jonathan Sutherland from Grand Rapids High School, uh, two guys that put up um, extremely impressive numbers in their, uh, you know, during their senior seasons. And then we've added three guys here um, since the fall fall signing period. Lincoln Meister is a six nine post player from from Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, Joshua Brown is a six four shooting guard from Park Center High School in the cities. And then we added a Division one transfer from Northern Colorado. Uh, Cole Nicholson, who's orig originally from Chaska High School. So all, all, all eight of these guys are from the state of Minnesota. Uh, it's been obviously um, our biggest uh, target point from a recruiting standpoint. A lot of credit goes to, uh, to, our, uh, to my staff, Casey Brueggemann, Carson Shanks, um, but even other people in our, in our department that meet with these recruits, uh, Donnie Hermanson, um, Coach Bauman, our strength and conditioning coach, Gary Holquist, a bunch of other people as well. So um, it's truly a team effort. We're extremely excited about this group going forward. It's a group of guys, um, all 14 guys, that'll get a chance to be a part of this program here for the next um, at least uh, three and sometimes uh, four years together. So extremely exciting times. We'll be we'll definitely be young, um, but we've got a great chance to, 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 have, to have a lot of success in the upcoming year. So just wanted to give you guys a, a, a brief look into what our program is, is doing right now. It's a little bit slower time of the year, obviously, for us. Um, our guys continue. Uh, we'll hopefully finish um, on a strong note this week uh, during finals week, and then they'll, they'll get into their summer work back home. So uh, we look forward to hopefully getting them back here in the fall um, and hopefully getting back on the, on the floor by November uh, playing games in Romano. Um, for all of you that have been to the gym in the last uh, two years, um, there's definitely some some great great additions there. Um, when you look at the back wall and the side wall this year, with the graphics, along with the new floor and bleachers last year, has has, has really made it made a tremendous difference. So the atmosphere in, in Romano has been fantastic. Our crowds keep getting larger and larger over the last two years. Um, so there's a ton of momentum in our program going forward. 
I'm extremely excited for, for the future here and extremely excited to, to hopefully uh, continue uh, to, to have a very successful program here at UMD. Um, so again, stay safe, um, stay healthy, um, keep social distancing, uh, keep trying to get some work done from home. Um, it's not always the easiest, but uh, continue to try to, to try to do the best you can um, to get us back on track here in the future. Um, we hope to see you next fall. Go dogs.